G'day team. Hope you're well. Hope you're doing better than yesterday. Okay, so <clears throat> I've been thinking about a couple of things. Connection's been uh, a topic on previous videos. Um, um, recently connected with a an old close friend of mine. Um, I used to serve in the military and uh, I used to work with this particular young man and through our work in the military, we became close mates. Anyhow, um, this particular young fella has also been going through some fairly extraordinary mental challenges and uh, we've connected recently and as an older man to a younger man i've been able to help him as older men maybe you are middle-aged you might i'm 49 we have um a lot more life experience don't we and we can help younger men we can help them um with what they're going through based on our life experiences. So I try to convey in a very meaningful way to this younger fella that he can't imagine uh, the joys and the, and the incredible future experiences that are ahead of him, that will be ahead, you know, 20, over the next 20 plus years. You can't imagine what's in front of you uh, at times, especially when you're going through some mental health challenges. So my point here is if you're a older person of the community, try to help those younger members that you know um, with whatever they're going through just based on your life experiences because um, it's a powerful thing and uh, I feel like uh, uh, my words of wisdom <laughs> may be helping him in the right direction. So yeah, connection around helping others is uh, is pretty powerful and, and it's also, um, it can be healing for ourselves as well to recognise that, uh, holy shit, you know, this poor younger fellow who's half my age is, um, is going through some really serious uh, mental health challenges, yet, uh, wow, I have an opportunity to maybe help him get through that um, so, yeah. Um, another thing that I'd like to share in this um, journal entry, this uh, video, is um, the power of perception. Uh, I read a quote years ago, and I, I thought about it recently. It's by Dr. Wayne Dyer, and, and it simply goes like this. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. I just want to say that again. I want you to really think about it, if, if you can. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. So we need to try to apply that to like a, a real life example. Um, yeah, heartbreak could be one. Heartbreak initially is very, very painful. But if we can change the way that we look at that, the way I ch change the way that I could perceive that is how fortunate was I to experience being in love. Um, there's probably people out there that might go through their whole lives with never falling in love and perhaps never experiencing heartbreak, a very, very powerful emotion. Uh, so you could put a positive mm, viewpoint on that, even though it was very painful at the time. You could be stuck in traffic and you'd be getting really frustrated and thinking, oh man, I'm going to be late for work or I've got to get this done, or I've got to get that done. Uh, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. In the past, I've been able to change my perception of that and think, wow, how lucky am I to have a car? How lucky am I to have a driver's license? How lucky am I that I have a, um, a job, that I have... I have to get somewhere. 
it just allows you to breathe a little bit better, you know, when um, we, we factor in perception to, to, to challenging situations. That's about it for now. Um, big thank, thank you to Reshoot NZ again for his uh, message on my previous video about the importance of keeping a journal around movement, uh, being able to measure our results. Yes, I've applied that and uh, looking forward to seeing my prog progress on paper around physical health. I'll leave it there. God bless, wishing you all strength, one day at a time, small steps. Bye for now.